Hey loves, welcome back to my channel, it's Ro, and today I am going to be sharing with you our last two entries for our Spring Blooms Challenge giveaway that I hosted last month. So we will start off with this one right here. And so as you can see, what she did here is she just clipped a bag topper a shaker bag topper which means I can reuse that bag topper for a different project so let's just check who it's from and I believe it's from Rachel and let me see and yes it is from Rachel thank you so much Rachel for joining I will be linking her Instagram handle below so if you could follow her I would really appreciate it for the other uh, packaging the bag topper that she did is she just clipped a flower and some doilies and because uh, they're just clipped that means I can reuse them Is that Let's put that aside and this pack right here this is where she placed her medium and small flowers I love the variety of that bunch there and for the last uh, for the large ones she did this one right here which is so unique because I haven't received any flower using this style So for her large flowers, this is what she did. She did some layering and she used a white and peachy color combo plus a glitter circle for her centers. And we move on to her medium and small flowers which are a combination of different types, different styles of flowers and different colors. And right here, I'm just picking out the medium flowers as you can see I was counting because I wasn't sure which were the medium ones and the small ones because they have different sizes so this is the medium ones different styles this one has a shaker center and she also used kind of like a mesh and that other pink flower right there there you go and for the small ones it's she made it in a different style as well so this entry has a lot of different styles being used which I really like there you go. We also have some rolled flowers. And there you have it. Again, that's from Rachel. Thank you so much again, Rachel, for joining. So let's just put everything in our basket. I eventually had to move all the flowers into a different uh, different storage and let's put that aside and for our very last entry this one is from Angelica who is Crafter Street 2017 thank you so much Angelica for joining 
And for this one, see, I got confused because I said I just wanted, I know I started with 15, like I said in the uh, previous videos, but everyone has been sending me more than that. So, yeah. Oh, here you go. That's her IG and her YouTube. So, yeah. What she did here is she separated all her flowers in different bags. And she sent me a lot of extras, which I did not ask, but I'm still thankful for them. See? I got confused <laughs> because it's a lot. But we, we will start off with this one. Now this one was so fun to open because look at all these teeny tiny flowers that I don't even know how she was able to roll all of these really small ones look at all those and the colors are gorgeous this would be perfect if you have like scraps of paper just lying around and if you can roll them or make them into flowers then that'd be perfect. So let's open up another pack here. See if you look closely, she, she made the bag topper like really simple but still cute and these are a different style of flowers we got some doodads for the centers and she layered a purple and then like a white layer on top before she placed her centers it's two different colors and for this one she just used one color bright cheery yellow so so pretty you have some gold centers and here's another pack right here and for this one, she used pink and also like pink pearl centers, lots and lots of layers. And the last one, which is my absolute favorite, the colors are gorgeous. And I love how Angelica used colors that, that are like not the usual spring colors. These are the ones I can use for almost whatever theme I can think of. So there's that. So, so pretty. Thank you so much, Angelica, for joining. Thank you, thank you. And with that, we are closing our <laughs> challenge giveaway thank you so much for joining to those who joined thank you so much and what i'm doing right now is i'm just putting a cluster of flowers different flowers that i received from all of you this is the reason why i 
posted this challenge is because, again, I said it before, the fact that the flowers came from different people, different crafters, you would see that they are made using different styles, different texture of paper. So if you put them together, they're so pretty. There, there you go. I, j I just love them. So again, to those who joined, thank you very much. I will be announcing the winner soon. I just have to write down all your names and yeah, I will pick the winner soon. For sure it's going to be this week. So yeah, again, thank you so much for joining and I hope that you enjoyed watching all of the videos where I shared all of the entries. And that is it for now. Thank you for stopping by and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!